all the backgrounds i use in almost all my videos on this channel are fake including this one you guys are looking at right now and today i'm going to be showing you guys how i'm able to achieve my fake backgrounds the app we are going to be using for this is InShot. initially the app i was using was CapCut, but as time went on CapCut now started making most of their features pro of which the background remover or the automatic background remover that i was using before is now pro and since i'm still broke i don't really have money to be subscribing to their pro version i decided to find another way and that other way is in shots okay so i'm going to be showing you guys how i use in shots to remove my backgrounds and it's actually very simple so the first thing i do is that i just film my video just like i'm filming now and i'm talking to you guys now and after filming my videos i will now import it to CapCut. Yes, we'll still be needing CapCut. And what do we do with CapCut? We use CapCut to remove all the unnecessary clips and all the unnecessary places that we don't need in the video. And I do all my cutting and joining in CapCut. And after doing all my cut and joins in CapCut, I export it and then import it to InShots. Do you understand? So this is my phone screen. And the app we'll be using is InShots. This is the app we'll be using to edit, to remove our background. We'll open it and then we'll click on video. And then click on new and then we we'll pick we we'll look for the video we want to remove the background and select it and click on this good here we we'll click here and then the video is now inside in short app okay so this watermark we have to remove this watermark so you just click on that watermark on that you know council sign and then they will play an ad for you and you remove the watermark okay so this is the watermark removing so if you don't have in shot in your phone you can actually download it from your google play or play store so now the watermark is no more there so you come down we'll come down and look for cutouts so this is cut out we we'll click on cut out and click on this cut out again and then allow it to you know remove the background you can see the background is removed now and then we'll come back come down and look for background we look for background click on background and then click on this box here this thing that is squared and it will bring you to where your pictures are and then you choose the background you want to use from your pictures this is my background under this plain videos i'll pick this background here it's a picture that i downloaded from google you can download any background of your choice from google then here my background is inside here already and then you come here if you want to blur your background all these things are blur blurry signs you can just pick any blur of your choice any blur that you like okay so let's experiment with some so you can see it has blurred one or if you want it to be more blurry and more blurry like that but i'll just leave my own as clear picture i prefer leaving my background as clear so i'll just leave mine as that okay then you can now touch your your picture you can see i'm hanging so i'll just use my two hands to zoom it in to fit into the box and that is it we now export our picture and then we are done see very simple doesn't really require much and then we can now after exporting we can now i usually export at 1080p but if you want to export at a higher at 2k or 4k you can go ahead and export at that but i export mine at 1080 then after exporting you will now click on this good sign here on, on this saved sign here and to save in your phone so when you come back and come to your phone's gallery or your phone's picture you will, or your phone's album you will see the removed background that you just exported then if you are not done with your editing you now import it into CapCut and continue your editing it's as simple as that very easy so after exporting your video from InShot, you will now import it back to CapCut and then continue with your editing and complete your editing on CapCut. okay like if you want to add any text you can go ahead add your text on CapCut. if you want to add your stickers or any other thing that you want to add that is not their pro version you can go ahead finish up your editing with CapCut. that's actually how i do mine i go ahead finish up all my editing with CapCut, add all my sounds on CapCut, my stickers or pictures or overlay or any other thing that i just want to add and then export it finally as my final video yeah i know that this may sound like a long process but this is actually how i edit my videos for now 
until i'm rich enough to rent a very good apartment where i can film my videos without having to remove the backgrounds or i'm rich enough to afford the CapCut pro and start using all their pro features i know that there are some videos that um are out there where you can you know use CapCut pro for free like i've actually watched some of those videos and i discovered that what those videos were saying is that you'd have to like do all your editing on CapCut, and then after doing all your editing on CapCut, you now screen record your videos your edited videos and after screen recording them you now import the screen recorded video and zoom it to the size or the way you want it to be and then increase the sharpness and export your final video where well, i actually tried it i gave it a try and i discovered that it wasn't really giving me the perfect result that i wanted right i discovered that following this other long process of having to export from CapCut, then import into inshot and then export from inshot and import back into CapCut was actually easier and better for me it gave me better results than having to finish editing in CapCut, screen record everything and then export in CapCut and then import back again and start zooming and all that going through that process actually reduced my voice quality and then even my video doesn't really come out very well but you can actually give the two a try and see which one you'd actually prefer in the two if you prefer the one of having to screen record after editing or your editing on CapCut and then importing back again good and fine go for it and if you prefer my own method then go for my own method anyone you prefer it's all about finding what works for you so that we'll have to reduce our editing stress and still come out with very good results right at least for now that we are managing ourselves we've not really monetized and started earning those big money yet we have to just find out the possible best alternatives that we can be using for now until we eventually monetize and start earning money right and i've actually also made another video on all the rules you have to follow if you want to achieve or create a fake realistic background i'll put the video as the first video on my description box you can check my description box and watch that video or i may even put it on the screen here anywhere you see it just watch that video because that will help you to know the rules to follow because using a fake background actually has its rules and regulations so that you can get the best and perfect results you have to get you know because if you don't follow these rules you may still remove these backgrounds and do all these things and at the end of the day you may not come out with the perfect result that you want to get you may not achieve the perfect result do you understand yeah so with that being said i hope you found this video helpful if you did give me a like share this video with someone you think might really 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 find it helpful as well and then go and watch that video on those rules you have to follow if you want to achieve a flawless free fake background okay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye